so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask code at this side so today i will be solving yet another problem of potd so today's problem is minimum absolute difference in bst let us look at the problem so the problem says that you have been provided a binary search tree right a binary search tree commonly known as bst right the properties of binary search tree again repeating that every parent the parent's value is greater than every child in the left subtree left subtree right and also parent is less than every child in the right subtree so in the given tree you can see that 50 is greater than 30 50 is greater than 20 30 is greater than 20 50 is less than 70 60 and 80 70 is greater than 60 70 is less than 80 so it is a valid bst now I have to tell the minimum absolute difference in BST. Minimum absolute difference as in, so if I take any two values, any two random values of the BST, any two random values of the BST, and this difference is minimum. So I can take 20, 30, I can take 30, 50, I can take 50, 70, I can take 60, 80, I can take uh, any other, right? Uh, 70 80 right there are many pairs so how many pairs can be formed the so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 pairs so 6 number of digits so 6 c2 that is 6 into 5 by 2 that is 15 pairs can be formed right 15 pairs can be formed right and i have to find the minimum absolute difference minimum difference of all of these minimum difference of all of these so difference of between 20 and 30 is minus 10 which will be converted to 10 because we are using the absolute value similarly this will be converted to 20 20 again 20 again 10 right so i can see among uh, among these cases which i mentioned 10 is the lowest possible so that 10 is my answer for these cases i have not explored all the 15 cases right that is for you to do now how should i approach this problem what should i do to uh, give me the give the correct answer so approach one that is the brute force approach brute force approach so the brute force approach says that try out all the pairs try out all the pairs right try out all the pairs now how can we do that so there there is one way for do that store the traversal in an array okay store the traversal in the array okay so my traversal let us say we are taking the pre-order traversal the pre-order traversal will be completed by this dash 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 and i will traverse the boundary like this and my pre-order will become 50 30 20 70 60 80 right 50 30 20 70 60 80 now i've got all the six elements i can try out using the nested loop concept my one loop will go from i up till n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 right and my j will go from i plus 1 to n minus 1 and i can carry out all the absolute differences and keep the minimum of them right okay so what is the time complexity so o of n for traversal o of n square for finding the minimum because we are using the nested loop right and what is the space complexity o of n right pretty inefficient right pretty inefficient o of n square right now i can observe that i have to provide the minimum absolute difference minimum absolute difference if i stress upon the word minimum can i say i can find the minimum absolute difference if if i present this array into a sorted order so this array will look something like 20 30 50 60 70 80 right this array will look something like 20 30 50 60 70 80 is it possible to find a minimum difference between 50 and 70 less than 20 and 30 that is if, if I sort them up, is this the minimum possible difference? Is this the minimum possible difference? Is this, is this, is this, right? So I am observing, I am saying that a minimum possible absolute difference is between two consecutive elements. In sorted order, in sorted order, I am saying the minimum possible difference is between the two consecutive elements in sorted order right so how can get a sorted order 
so it is simple i have got the traversal and i will sort it so after sorting what i will do i will keep my eye here my i will go from 0 to n minus 2 and i will check with i plus 1 so i will keep minimum of array of i minus array of i plus 1 right i will keep this value as my answer right so what is the time complexity now o of n for traversal o of n to find the minimum but o of n log n to sort it o of n log n right because of sorting the sorting requires o of n log n time correct okay and what is the space complexity o of n for the keeping the traversal in an array right i think you are clear up till now okay what can i do next what can i do next can i optimize this code also the answer is yes i can optimize this code now the bi binary search tree which we have been discussing from the past four days has a property that in order traversal in order traversal of a bst is sorted is sorted so can i use the in order traversal rather than using pre-order and sorting so this step can be exchanged with pre-order plus sort instead of using pre-order plus sort i will just do the in order traversal and my rest of the steps will remain same so my time complexity will become o of n for traversal o of n for finding answer and space complexity is o of n for storing the answer right the extra component of n log n will get removed and my time complexity will become o of n and space complexity o of n right okay so up till now we have discussed three approaches and i think this video deserves a like for that okay now can what can i do extra to reduce this space complexity is it possible for me to reduce to reduce this space complexity let us see how can how we can do it right so my tree was 50 connected with 30 20 70 60 80 right connected with 30 connected with 20 connected with 70 60 80 right this is my tree right so how does my node traversal move so my order says that I will move towards left first, then I will go towards right, also root, then I will go towards right. This is the basic technique of in-order traversal, right? Okay. So what I do is my in-order traversal is defined as in order. Let us send the root here, right? Now, if my root is equals to equals to null, in that case, simply return. I cannot do anything. Otherwise, do the in order for roots left perform the operation on root perform the operation on root whatever operation do you like and then in order of root right in order of root right so what does it do it starts with 50 executes this statement goes to 30 execute this statement goes to 20 right 20 execute the statement go towards this it is found as null it executes return statements then after that 20 will be operated with the operation we want to do at 20 and then go off to right so right will also return null and then 20 will return the value to 30 30 will then explore the uh, operation it wants to pref perform on 30 then go towards right then 30 will return to 50 50 will do the operation on itself and then go to 70 right 70 will go to 60 60 will do the same as 20 return to 70 70 will go perform the operation on 70 goes to 80 right something like that something not exactly like that right what i am saying is if the in order is giving me the sorted order in order is giving me the sorted order what can i say i am saying that i will keep a variable last i will keep a variable last that stores the lastly pushed value into a vector lastly pushed value into the vector that is what i am doing is i have suppose i am going at 50 50 will give me the absolute difference with what value with the previous value it has right 50 will give the give me the minimum value with 30 only right with 30 only and 70 will give me the minimum value with 50 60 will give me the minimum value with 50 80 will give me the minimum value with 70 right okay so what i am saying is when i am 30 i say that my last has changed to 30 Right? And when my last has changed to 30, I will say my answer will be minimum of existing answer with 
my roots data that is 50 minus 30 right okay so i hope that is clear to you we are just reduced the space complexity and let's move to the code now so when we move to the code we have to code something like i will keep a last as recently minus one because uh, when starting with the root i don't have anything in my hand right now i will solve i will say solve for root and send the last and return answer you will say your answer has not been declared okay declare it globally because i want the maximum i will keep my answer uh, because i want the minimum i will keep my answer as int max that is a standard technique right okay then i will call the solve function so when i will call the solve function it will be a void type solve node star root int and i will send my last by reference right so if my root return null right otherwise go to roots left with the same last this will come into the solve bracket now the operation is once if my last is not equals to minus one only then it will execute what will execute answer equals to min of answer with roots data minus last right you can use the absolute also but i am using the roots data because i know roots data is greater than last for sure because we are in the sorted order then i will call for the solve function of roots right okay then nothing else right and at last i will return the answer so i hope oh i have to change the value of last also right so last will become roots data let us compile and run it hope it works fine there has been some error so it is running fine for compiler let's try it for submit also and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you have a nice day